Well, welcome back. It is a beautiful day out there right now. Finally got the sun to come out. I thought it'd be out first thing this morning. It's always a terrible when you open those curtains and it's gray out there, but we've had a lot of moisture and temperatures are cooling at night, so it's easy to keep the clouds around if you don't have a lot of mixing. 62 degrees right now, winds northwest at six miles per hour. And as we take a look at the current conditions, uh, fairly nice. The uh, temperature's not too warm. Uh, we've seen some over much overcast also in the valley. Uh, things breaking loose a little bit now, which is good. 62 in Palmer, 62 also in Wasilla, uh, 62 here, 60 in Seward uh, with some sunshine down there. And our high temperatures uh, so far, and this is pretty much what we're going to see today, 64 for us, 64 in Telkeetna, though it was 66 in Glen Allen, always still warm there this time of year. 60 in Seward, that's good, and 61 in Homer. Always nice to be in the 60s, especially in August. Uh, take a look around the state. Uh, we are seeing some wet weather throughout much of the interior sections. That's keeping temperatures in the 50s with 59 in uh, Fairbanks. We're also seeing uh, McGrath at 57 and much cooler temperatures, of course, uh, along the Arctic coast with 41 in Utiavik. 67 in Dillingham, though, pretty nice there. Just want to show the expected rainfall because that really tells us the story uh, for the weekend. And most of that rainfall right now is all going to be in the interior sections, mainly in the uh, northwestern sections, uh, right around the Brooks Range. So there's a possibility of seeing a little bit of flooding on some of the tributaries up there. As we take a look, you can see a lot of clouds and some of those, of course, penetrated much up of the valley too. Uh, but the real story is this big low pressure system that's bringing in this moisture into Sunday and also into Monday and pushing it through. So could see a lot of uh, rain for that area and that makes it also cooler but also, again, those tributaries coming in, and then another one's expected Tuesday with that low remaining stationary. But the forecast for the southeast, we're going to shoot for sunshine with some clouds. Again, could see some overcast till it burns off. The wind should knock it out uh, with 60s for them. As we go in the interior sections, we talked about the rain. There'll be rain in Fairbanks all the way to Fort Yukon. Cooler temperatures, so it's 57 for Fairbanks, 58 for Healy. On the slope, again, some clouds for Utiavik, for Dead Horse looking for clouds, and Wainwright looking for some rain. And winds, though, out of the southwest, that westerly flow continues with those fronts that move through. It's going to make a wet weather for Nome and Kotzebue with your temperatures in the mid-50s. Bethel will see 56. Really nice weather in the Aleutians for tomorrow. Looking at mostly to partly cloudy skies from Dillingham all the way out to Adak looking at 57 for them. So should be fairly nice and a little closer to home. Again, a mixture of clouds and sunshine, kind of the same repeat, but I think the winds are a little stronger out of the southwest, 15 to Gustin to 25 for Kenai and Kodiak and Soldatna. So perhaps we'll get a little bit more sunshine than we got today. Glen Allen, Valdez, Whittier, and Cordova also sharing a little bit of clouds and sunshine, temperatures in the 60s. And Telkeetna, Willow, and Wasilla, Palmer, again, Temperatures in the 60s, upper 60s uh, for Palmer. And for us, we're going to look at 65 tomorrow. Again, a mixture of sun and clouds, light winds. Girdwood will share that forecast in the mid-60s.